Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is Ficus Friday once again. I was going to work on my Fusion Ficus or my Franken Ficus, but I can't and I'll show you why. Over here is the Fusion Ficus and I was going to move it and then I noticed down below here there's a spider web. There it is there, you can see it. And it's such a beautiful web. It's quite large. Here's my hand for reference. It's quite large and I just couldn't destroy it. It's attached to the pot over here. So I'm just going to let the spider be. And we'll have to prune up the fusion ficus another day. I was just going to sort out some of the branch structure on it. There's a lot of branches kind of growing in towards the center of the tree. Some shooting straight upwards. Yeah, so since it's last pruning, it's put on quite a bit of growth. I was just going to kind of give it a prune, but uh, it won't be today. The spider gets priority. There's the web. Look at that, eh? Strange to see a horizontal web. So instead today, I've taken the Natal ficus outside in the greenhouse, and I'm going to prune that up. So let's head out to the greenhouse now. I didn't think I'd be able to work outside in the greenhouse today. It's minus 11 degrees Celsius outside, but because the sun is shining, it's, it's quite warm and pleasant here in the greenhouse. Here is a look at the Natal ficus. Some of the leaves are a little yellowy. It's because of the cool temperatures in the plant room, but there's lots of new shoots on it. And there's a lot of figs developing on it also. I'll show you those. Here's a look at all the little tiny figs developing all over in the canopy. I'll get you in a little closer even. Here's a close-up look at some of the little tiny figs just starting to develop. They very rarely mature. They uh, get to a certain size and then they usually all fall off. When I was collecting pictures, reference photos for styling this Natal ficus, I only found two photos that kind of inspired me for that giant umbrella canopy style. I'll show you those photos now. That's the style that I want to style this tree into. Very few aerial roots, but a nice buttress trunk, kind of an upright branch structure and a huge umbrella canopy. I think that'll look really good in that style. So today I'm going to prune it up once again and try and get it towards that umbrella canopy style. I've done a lot of work to this tree over the last few years. And if you go back in time and look at the tree when I first got it, it's almost unrecognizable as the same tree. It was kind of a bit of a cascading style, had a really poor root system, no kind of upright branches at all. So it's really undergone a transformation and I'm really looking forward to developing it even further. So this was last pruned in fall of last year and it's kind of been growing over the winter a little bit, not a whole lot. And I'm going to prune it back today. There's a lot of branches that are pointing downwards, a lot of branches that are getting too vigorous, a lot of crossing branches. So I'm going to give it a good structural pruning so when it does start growing, everything will be set. It can just kind of grow over most of the summer. I create a playlist for all the trees I have in my collection. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go back in time and see what this tree looked like when I first got it and all the steps that I did to get it to this stage. So I'll just keep adding to that playlist in the future and hopefully someday you'll see this beautiful Natal ficus with a giant umbrella canopy and you'll go, hmm, wonder how, how, he, how did he get that styling? And you can go back and see every step of the way. I'm going to begin the work now. So here I go. I'm going to start here. I've got a branch 
that's coming straight down. I don't want that. Maybe eventually, you know, as I grow this canopy taller and fuller, eventually I'll have some of these hanging branches. But for now, I'm just trying to build that upright structure to the tree. So off comes that vertical branch that's hanging down like that. I've got another couple out the back here, so we'll get rid of those. I think I'll have to use my, my black pruners here. Like that. Now, I've got a little shoot coming off the trunk here. I don't want that developed. It's too low. I've got some aerial roots coming off the trunk here. There's one here, another one forming here. I don't want any aerial roots on this tree because it's, you know, styled to look like a, a tree that would be growing in the African savanna. So they usually don't get aerial roots in those, you know, arid environments. So I'm going to remove all the aerial roots. Now I do want a nice fluted trunk eventually, and that'll depend on the root base, getting a lot of fine radial roots they'll swell up and I'll get these ridges going up the trunk eventually. So here's another aerial root that can come off, just starting to form there. And maybe another bump here I can take off there. Okay. Now, so on my upright structure, I want everything going upwards and then I've got a whole bunch of new branches coming off here at this level that just aren't in a good location. I've got my structure coming up here, so I don't need a whole bunch of little fine shoots down below. Those will be developed further up in the canopy eventually, my finer branching. So I'm going to remove all these. Like that, there's one out here. When you're developing these upright structures, you know, it's tempting to leave all these branches in, but you've got to keep in mind what you're trying to do is build that, that upright trunk structure to kind of create a, a low broom canopy. Okay, so over here I've got another branch that's going downhill or drooping. I'm going to remove that, like that. There's some coming off the side. They're going right beside each other. There's three of them. I'll take all those off. Like that. And I'll just clean that up. It was already getting a bit of a bulge there where those branches were coming out. There, let's clean that up nice and flush. Another little shoot here I can remove. Now, at the base here, of the V of these two branches. I've got another cluster of branches that needs to be pruned off. So I'll get rid of those. And the little bulge that's associated with them, cleaning that up. So now you can see the trunk comes up and divides into two, divides into two again. This one divides into two. So I've got, you know, the basis of an upright structure the start of it, the foundation, I guess. I'm going to remove, there's a branch on the inside here. Get rid of that. Bring that back a little more. Now you notice there's a, there's a split in the trunk here. And I'm not sure why it, it, it's developed like that. There's a, a vein growing on the top and one on the bottom. It's just a feature of the tree and eventually it'll smooth over, it'll heal. But interesting feature. So now I've got, I've got an upright branch growing on the inside here. I've got to determine, do I want to keep that? It is upright, I'll keep it for now. There's one here kind of growing close to the uh, V of these branches. So I'm gonna take that out. There's some hanging branches here. Um, 
I don't want them. Not at this point in time anyway. Maybe in the future, you know, I want some fine branches hanging down. But for now, I'm just after building that basic upright structure. So they come off. I've got to try and make these cuts as clean as possible. Like that. That looks good. There's some aerial roots coming off here. I've got to prune these off. Usually you want to keep aerial roots on a ficus, but in this case I don't. So I'm following this trunk line out here. It comes up, goes a little more horizontal, and I'm looking for something that I can continue to grow out this direction. So it's definitely not these hanging ones. They're coming off at the tip here. Because they're not upright at all. There's three branches going from that tip. Now, my other choice, I've got one that's going 90 degrees vertical. That also isn't the greatest. But I have little else. So what I'll have to do, I've got one kind of fanning out here. Um, that's my best branch, so I'll prune it back to that. So I'm going to prune this branch back like that, developing this as a branch leader. I can take off this one here like that. And then I've got two growing up right here. I can take those off also. Kind of reducing it down to a branch structure. So it's not the most graceful. It kind of comes up, kinks, but as this develops further, it'll smoothen out. You'll see it'll eventually become a nice flowing bend to the branch there. I am going to prune off this stub here. I'm going to shorten the branch back. It's kind of straight for quite a while. And I'm going to develop this as the branch leader. Like that. So it's not ideal, this situation, but it's the best branch I had. So I go with it. And that's part of, you know, getting a natural style to your tree is that, you know, it's not the perfect branch situation here, but you make do with it. And over time, it becomes very natural looking because no one would have a kink like that in their branch, but the tree grew like that. So I go with it. Out the back here, I've got a branch hanging down. I'll get rid of that one like that. I've got this branch comes up and it divides here. So this branch is pretty good here. I've got one on the inside here. I'm going to remove I'm trying to keep these branches flowing. I've also got this one which is interfering with this branch. So I'm going to remove it like that. So this branch has lots of light to develop. So this branch will come up, divide from one into two, which is really nice. Now I've got to deal with this part of it. So my best flowing direction is this one. So that will be my branch leader. I'll take off these ones that are hanging down like that. And then I've got one that's vertical here on the inside. I can take that off like that. And I've got another one that kind of goes back. Now, it's uh, it's kind of growing back in across the center of the tree. So I'm going to remove that one. If it was developing out, you know, if this one branched out here, it would be fine, but it's just too congested in that area. There's another one growing on the inside here. I'll get rid of that. Lots of pruning going on today. So that has got this branch line cleaned up, comes up, divides into two, two again. This one doesn't divide into two again, but I'm going to prune the tip back. So where is the question? Um, well, I think it's going to have to be right here, 
like that. I'll get some division there. Should look quite nice. So now I'm going to follow this part of the trunk line up. I've got this part of the leader kind of crosses back. It's not fanning out from the tree. It, it kind of crosses over the center. So I would be better to develop this as my branch leader. Just notice some bugs on it. Look like a mealy bug. Well, that's gone now. I might have to spray it all. Make sure there's no more mealy bugs on it. I should have showed you what it looks like. Maybe I'll find another one. I hope I don't, but maybe I will. So yeah, so this is a good direction. This one isn't so good. So I'm going to remove that one. A hard cut here coming up. So here I go. I'm going to remove the whole top of that branch. Like that. So now you can see it's all fanning away from the center of the tree. I'm going to shorten this one to here. Like that. I'm going to remove this part of it. In here. And there's one coming up the center here. I'll remove that. So now you can see this one comes up, divides from one into two. Flows nicely. Yeah, it looks, looks quite nice. Now around the back here, I have another branch coming from kind of from the base of here. I've got to decide. I'm going to take the little ones off. I've got to decide if I want to keep that one. I'm thinking not. That one's got to come off. I've got, you know, my trunk comes up and then it divides up here. I don't want skinny branches down below. So that's going to come off. Like that. Now, there's an aerial root trying to form here. I'll take that off. So let's go back to the front here. You're looking at the front now. So here, there's one crossing in here. I've got to get rid of that. It comes from in here. So I'll take that off. Like that. And there's another one coming off this branch here that I didn't notice before. I gotta get rid of that one. That one's gone. So this is really nice and clean, that section of the tree. So now let's let's start. Let's start with this trunk line coming up here. So there's some hanging branches I want to get rid of here. Right here. Like that. Another one here. Like that, that's off. So again, here's my, my branch comes up and it's got a bit of a kink towards the leader. That was the best I could do last time also. So all I can do is I can clean that up a bit. I can take a bit of material off here. Like that. And you can see, even though there was a bit of a kink in here, like this one will have, it's starting to smooth out. I took that elbow off there. And you know, in a few years as this thickens up, you won't even notice it had a, a bit of a movement there or a, a bit of a, a kink. It'll look very flowing and natural. So the end of this branch, it's looking quite good. It's got some branching off of it. Um, if I leave all these branches on here, it's going to gain a lot of vigor. I've got to kind of grow all these branches out equally. So I, I don't have a lot of foliage on this side, but I got a lot on this side. So I've got to reduce the number of branches off that are coming off of here. 
and shorten them back. So I will do that. I'm this branch kind of points directly towards the viewer, so I'm going to remove that one like that. This makes a fine apex for the branch and then it divides into two here. There's a hanging one. I'll get rid of that. Another one off the back here. I don't like this one. I'll get rid of that one. And there's one coming towards the inside here. I'll get rid of that. Keeping everything nice and flowing. There's one that kind of crosses back on the tree here. I'll get rid of that one. Same with this one. My apex, I'll keep this as the apex, that little shoot there. Like that. There's one hanging down here. I'll get rid of that one. Like that. Another one hanging down. Get rid of that one. One at the back here that's kind of funny. It's going vertical. We'll get rid of that one. Like that. And one on the inside here I can get rid of. Like that. Dividing from one to two. I'm going to get rid of this one because this branch part of it will develop and it'll shade this one out. And this part will develop back here. So this part's going to come off and then I'll shorten this one. And this one. Like that. And then I've got another branch going from the inside here. So I have three branches coming from one point. So I'll get rid of that, that one. And that's got this branch nicely flowing as best it can and looking good. There's a branch coming out the bottom of this part. I'm going to take that off like that. Another one kind of coming out the bottom. Take that one off. There's one growing from the V shape here. Get rid of that. The base of the crotch of the branch. There's some other ones here. I'll get rid of those. Clean that, this area up. I uh, don't want that one. And I don't want this one either. Just cleaning up some of these pruning points, making them nice and flush. So it heals really nicely in the future. Like that. There's a couple of branches. I, I don't mind this one. I could grow that one up. Maybe. I'll take this one off. And this little one here, I'll keep it there for now. It, it looks quite nice. Kind of gives me, you know, a bit of a wider, if I develop that out, a wider spreading canopy. So now, I'm following this trunk line up. So there it is from the front. So my leader kind of goes inside here. It's, it's an awkward looking leader, but it's there. Now I may be able to develop a new leader with this one here, which is quite a nice direction for that branch kind of coming out this way. So I think I will, which will, you know, involve some fairly drastic pruning. So I'm going to take off this side. So here I go. I've got to get in there just right. Um, maybe like this. Yeah. Like that. So that's gone. Leaves a drastic scar, but it'll, it'll heal. Now, I've got one hanging down here. I've got to get rid of that. And this is probably my best flow line here. This is a good backup, so I'm going to take this one off here. And then I've got a, 
a stump up here that I gotta shorten. So that'll involve a major cut too. So here I go. Like that. So that's got that part of the branch pruned up. Now I'll probably only keep this branch eventually. This is my backup just in case something happened to that one. It's always good to have a backup plan in place. You know, you can always prune the branches away, but you can't regrow them as easily. So then off the back of that, I've got a branch that comes 90 degrees off the back, which doesn't look good at all. It doesn't float upwards. So it's got to come off. There's one hanging down below here. There's this one's got to come off here. There we go. A lot of pruning to that branch. You can see the big, big cut here that's healing slowly. It's amazing that that's actually healing over. Can't believe it. It was a huge cut there. So now let's go back to the front view. I've got one more trunk line or branch back here to prune up. So you can see that kind of upright style that I'm developing with the tree. It's slowly coming along. So now this one, it, it kind of comes out the back. It doesn't really go up as much as I would like. But again, there is, there is a shoot here that's coming upwards, which is really good. So I think I'll take this one off. And I've got to keep this as my leader and then I've got to remove everything else. Kind of hard to do, but I've got to do it. So here I go. There it goes. So you can see now, let me rotate it back to the front. You can see now that has a bit of upwards structure to it. Now I could probably do a little more cleanup on it. Let me just take That's cleaned up about as best as I can get it. So this branch by leader comes up. I've got a few branches in that area and I'm going to leave them all because they're all kind of going upright and I want to, you know, develop this branch stronger. It's probably the skinnier of all these major trunk lines. So I'll leave a, more foliage on it, develop that, and then I'll select my branches later on to be a little more selective. So I think that concludes the pruning. Wow, I can't believe how much I took off. Here's a look at my Natal ficus now. I'll rotate it around so you can see it from all views. So here's the front coming around to the right hand side, coming around to the back of the tree, coming around to the left hand side coming back around to the front. So I'm very pleased with the tree. I think it's developing the structure really nicely. I think by the end of summer you're going to see quite a canopy on top. I've got to do some root work on the tree. I'll show you those. Here's a look at the roots and you can see on the left hand side there's one root that's thickening up really fast and there's one on the right hand side that's thickening up really fast. So those are going to have to either be pruned off and new roots developed or they'll have to be carved or split or something. They're just getting too thick. And that, that just happened like over a year. Um, you really got to watch the roots on ficus. They can get out of control very quickly. In early summer, when it's hot and humid out, I'll repot this tree, do the root pruning, and probably put it in that new pot that I made for it, the one that I made at Isabella's, and then let it grow for the summer. When I go to repot this tree, it's quite possible I could change the front. This is the current front. I may change it so you can see that branch up here a little more from the front view. I don't like that view. It kind of comes towards you too much there, but yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. 
it's not bad like this. And you have to imagine this is going to thicken up and develop. And I'll get more branches kind of coming out this side of the tree, so it'll look more balanced eventually. Yeah, a lot of work to go on this tree, but boy, it's sure come a long way from when I first got it, you know, towards that style that I envisioned, that African savanna Natal ficus style, which I think is going to look really, really nice. I did find one more of those insects that were crawling on it. If you see it at the base of that leaf there, I hope you can see it right there. That's the bug I was talking about. I just squished that one. Yeah. So I think that's a mealy bug. Yeah, so I'm going to have to spray my Natal ficus, make sure I get rid of all the eggs in those mealy bugs because I don't want them spreading. I'd love to save all the branches that I pruned off today, but because they had those insects on them, I'm just going to throw them outside in the cold and not take a chance of, you know, spreading them around in my plant room. So I'll get out the soap and water now and we'll give the tree a spray. I've got two spray bottles. I got my wash cycle. So this is 40 parts water to one part liquid dish soap. So the kind you use for your washing your dishes in your sink. And then I've got a bottle of rainwater that I can spray it all down and rinse it off. So let's go apply the soap now. All right, here I go spraying the soap and water on the tree. And you wanna make sure you get it all over. And I always spray the soil too, because I figure if there's any insect eggs in the soil, it'll kind of kill them. And I've only had root, root aphids once. They're little aphids that attach to the roots, and this will also help kill those or control them. So I'm spraying all over the tree. You can see the soap on the, in the water. And I want to get underneath too. And all around. And I want to make sure I get in those crevices. Anywhere where there's a, a wound or something, you got to make sure you get the soap in it. So I think that's pretty good. I think I can let that sit for a few minutes. Then I'll come back and rinse it all off. And I'll water the tree really thoroughly to make sure it flushes all that soap out of the uh, bonsai soil. All right, I've let it sit for a while. I'm ready for the rinse cycle. So here I go. This is just rainwater. And I'll rinse the tree off thoroughly. So I'll keep my eye on this tree over the next month and all the other trees in the plant room. Make sure, you know, I'm not having insect problems. Because where you notice there's one insect, there'll be more. So it's, uh, you know, this is my warning. So I gotta be really careful, really watch the trees, make sure it doesn't get any worse. So I think I've got the tree rinsed down thoroughly. I'll just double sure, make sure, make sure I get in all these places, make sure all the soap's rinsed away. And you've got to test your trees. Some trees are very sensitive to soap and water. Others, most ficuses don't really care. They have a kind of a waxy leaf. But some trees are very sensitive, like my poinsettia. I remember I sprayed it lightly once and the leaves all went brown and came off. So yeah, test it on a little part of the tree first. If it works well, then you can spray the whole tree. Okay, so I've rinsed the tree off thoroughly. Now I've got to water it really well to rinse all the soap out of the soil in the bonsai pot. So here I go with the rinse. I think I'd better move my elephants actually so I can get every part of the soil surface. Here I go. So I'll, I'll let that soak in. And... Give it another rinse. I'm using the big watering can here. Like that. 
And I think one more rinse will do it. All right, here I go with the last rinse. And that'll do it. My Natal ficus is all cleaned up. It's ready to go back in the plant room. And hopefully I won't get any more mealybug infestations. I did quite a severe branch pruning on my Natal ficus today, but I'm developing that upright structure, which is what I want. It'll just kind of get grow up and up and finer and finer until I get that nice umbrella canopy. It'll be really fun developing that style. I will be, uh, repotting and root pruning this tree once the weather warms up in probably early summer and then I'll let it grow probably for most of the summer and then I'll be tackling the branch pruning once again in fall. And that's all today for this fabulous Ficus Friday. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>